Hey guys, I'd like to share with you our journey of goatscaping. We received six goats for seven days. They arrived on June 28th and they were picked up on July 5th. Um, did I say it was six goats? Okay, six goats for seven days to clear about an acre of our forested property. Um, we decided to go with goatscaping because we wanted something environmentally friendly and we didn't want to have any big machinery back here. Not yet. We wanted to be able to see first what was going on. We tried clearing some of this by hand, but the brush was so thick that we needed a little help. And the goats are going to do exactly what we need by fertilizing this area, helping us open up the canopy. So if you haven't seen the first video, I will link that below. I'm officially Fran and this is Buchanan Oasis Farmstead. And let's get right into what the goats have done day by day. And it's hard to show this on the camera, but I know what this looked like. So I know how full it was, especially in here, this area. You couldn't see through. So they have been picking back and forth because all of this was so heavy. This area right here, super heavy. You couldn't see anything. Oh, here he come following us. Now they all coming out to see what we doing over here. The food is, they, they eating food. Oh no, they don't, they don't want nothing else. That'll stop them. There's five of them. And there's number six, still over here by this tree. I don't know what's going on with him in this tree, but this tree is clean. This is a before shot of that very same tree that that one goat brother is stuck to. Look at the after, and that's after only one day, guys. This is day three of the goat clearing. This is the area that they're cleaning. You see everything is up top. Everything at the bottom is cleaned out. This is the other area right across where they're not at. You can see the difference. So that's basically what the other side looked like before. And here's the after, after three days. Oh, look how clear it is down here, y'all. It's super clear through here. None of this, you couldn't see through any of this a couple of days ago. I can actually see through this to see my bathroom. This area is so cleared out. Hey, buddy. How are you? How are you, number four? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, babies. How are you? You keep letting me pet you. You let me pet you, too. Hey, there. Look at little Biddy over there. I think his job is to eat stuff that's down. Their job is to eat stuff that's high. He got the horn, so he always bumping into people. That brown one right there, I like that one. Hi there. Look at here, y'all. Look at all this cleared out area. This, I mean, you literally could see nothing in here. So this is day five. And as you can see, I can see the goats through there all the way. We're going to walk around, but this is the side that they're not working on. And this is the side that they're working on. What a difference, right? Check it out. Let's walk down here and take a look from the other end. We can actually see the goats walking up. You over there laying up under that tree. You better get up, bro, and get to work. Chop, chop. We can see all the way over there, nice and clearly, y'all. Do y'all realize? Again, this is what the before looked like on this side. You see all of this? The side that the ghosts are on looks just like this, if not worse. This is the side that they're on. Look at how great that looks. Now on day six, I was in the back and I decided to do some work on the forest entrance pathway. But before I got started, I decided to give the goats some fresh water, kind of hang out with them for a minute. They really did motivate me to get to work. So that's what I did.
I'm not sure what happened, but we lost the audio. But these are the final results. It is day seven. The goats are being packed up and I want to show you their pack up process and give you an overall review of everything once and for all. Number one, they show up and they put the netting out. This netting creates a, a tunnel from the area that they are in eating back to their uh, truck their uber <laughs> this is what i call it we're going to walk down this path and take you right around to the way um, to the area that the goats are in and as you can see this white part of the fence goes right back over towards my tent break room they didn't need fencing on the other side because while i was back in the forest on saturday i finished putting up the fencing that I wanted to do over on that other side, the left side with the poles. This is the east side of my property. This is the property, the part that the goats have not been on. When I get to the area where the goats are, know that it looked just like this. It's thick, all of this honeysuckle, sticky stuff is everywhere. And then once we get right here to my break room, they are operating on the west side. And this is the area that they've cleared. As you can see, everything, well, you probably can't tell, but from my eyesight down is what has been cleared. Again, before, after. I know y'all can tell the difference. This has just been six goats out here working. And they've been here for the week. And here go, bruh. He the only one that let us touch him every day. So, they go everybody else. They eating, there's nothing else. Everything is up high. They can't get to it. This is the noisiest that they have been since they've been here. So they know who their owners are. Because suddenly they're talking and making this noise. So we're going to walk them on out. One, two, three, four, five. They go, they go bruh number six over there. He always by that tree. Look at him. They running home. I guess they say... This lady don't have no more food. Uh-oh. Look at the last one back there. Come on, bruh. Oh, his name is Titus. We've been calling everybody bruh. Look at this. Y'all know we've been back here all week, and they haven't made us sound. But now they people here, they want to act like we've been treating them bad, and they run at home. Let me get you a view of this shirt in the back. It says, Twin Rillo Ranch. Our goats fertilize as they go. Check it out. They all went right back. They all got in their Uber. They're getting strapped in. And they're in. Bye, guys. Till next time. Really hope you guys enjoyed our goatscaping journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching Buchanan Oasis Farmstead and officially friend. Bye-bye for now.